rapturous Cardi B gets proposed to in front of 21,000 fans. Watch. <laughs> So cute, so cool. Now this happened in Philadelphia in front of 21,000 people at her sold out concert at Wells Fargo Center. I love it, I think it's wonderful. Thoughts, five words or less. She do get comfortable. Lace front, red bottom, bitches. That's so shmoney. <laughs> <laughs> that was my best Cardi B <laughs> impersonation. Soap was looking at me like, fail, was that a fail, so? Uh, okay, was that a, like she said shmoney and she sits out her tongue like, ah, okay, I mean, I have a long right, tongue. Okay. Um, Okay, so I want to I want to know, Grace, you recently got engaged. I did. Okay, so congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Thank and, you. and and you can see that on YouTube. Yeah. Um, was it in front of twenty one thousand people? Close. It was in front of four mooses. Interesting. Very close. <laughs> that that Epic. have at least twenty one thousand droppings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So would you ever in life propose to anyone? <laughs> have you ever thought about proposing in front of a like a huge audience? Uh, no, because the only person I've ever thought about proposing to is is Lizzie. And uh, she would truly, she's very shy. You uh, haven't met her one okay. day, let's hope. Okay. Uh, she's she's a little shy and she would truly hate that. If, yeah. I were, if it were like in front of like a kiss cam or something, some people would like that. Some people like that public gesture. Right. Um, and Cardi is obviously not shy of the spotlight or anything. But I knew uh, for me, for my proposal, it was definitely had to be more of a secluded environment. But this seems perfect for them. And also kind of coincidentally, when you watch the full video, it seems like all their friends were on stage at the time anyway, because like her friend runs up to her after and he's celebrating with like a friend in back. So it seems like it was a good time for them. Right. And obviously her fans loved it and uh, I, I wish them many happy returns. We have, I have a lot in common with Cardi B right you now. Do. You do. You're, is your, is, is your. Pretty much best friend. Grodak like yellow. Personal, yeah, Grodak, 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 Grodak yellow. <laughs> I mean, I had to find a way to get your name in there. Grodak yellow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That, that was a yellow. fail too. That was, that was a fail. Yeah. Oh, Carmine. All, right. All right. Um, you know, I mean, she comes from the reality world, yeah. so I, I don't expect anything less. I mean, they had. Obviously, their friends knew, right? They had it mm. planned, so it was cute. I mean, it was, you know, it was pretty cute. That that is her hair longer than you think. Her, her hair is as long like as I am million. tall. Inches. That's a hot weave. Oh, that's a hot lace front. Yeah, I, I thought it. I thought it was nice. I don't know personally if I if Munchkin proposed to me in front of a lot of people. I feel like there's a pre, you have a pressure to say yes when it's in front of that many people because then if you say no, like on the jumbotrons where it's like, right. ooh, I would feel like I have I would have a pressure to say yes because the person who you're, that's proposing to you, you love so much, you mm -hmm. don't want to hurt them. Maybe I mean a lot of people talk about marriage, but it always seems that one person. Is on the thought train faster than the other person. Yeah. So what if, like, let's say I'm at the Dodgers game for the World Series, and Munchkin proposes to me, I'm like, whoa, okay, well, we need to talk about this. But I, and so like, you can't just say, well, let me think about it, you know. So I feel well, like there's a lot of pressure. Like the goes person into that. asking has to think too. They they must be nervous about like, oh, would they say no? Because then they probably wouldn't ask. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think as as far as it being public. Like right. This is great for Cardi B though because this is coming off the hills of a wildly successful year for her. Breaking records with Bodak Yellow. I mean, Cardi B has definitely springboarded from being a reality star on what to me is one of the best reality shows on TV because I love my Ratchet TV. But to really um, just breaking down barriers as far as females and rap again because it's been 19 years since we've had yeah. a female topping the charts in hip hop and rap. So good for Cardi B. I, I, again, I think it's I think it's awesome. I think it's it's super super endearing. I have to say, I, I really do like her. I think she's like evolved in front of her public, yeah. fans, audience. Um, however, like it's like, okay, yeah, she broke all these barriers. She's number one, like hip hop, rap, mm -hmm. stress, whatever you want to call it. 
and I love when the beat comes on, you know, we all like go in. I just, for me, I have an issue, I was six year old. Okay. And I don't know if that's the best storyline for her to be looking up to as a role model. Like, oh, I was a stripper. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's being. It's being reveled a little do bit. You think, do you think? I, I, I see what you're saying, Do you see saying, what I'm Carmen? saying? Yeah. And I have a completely different perspective now because I have a six year old. So that's the difference because I love her, don't get me wrong, I think mm. she's dope. So do you think that Cardi would evolve? I mean, cuz you know, when super, this is a new, I guess this is a new superstardom for her, if, yeah, you, if you will. For sure. So do you think, do you think I, well, I'm hoping that Cardi will be more present in that and realize yeah. that she has these, these young these young women, yes. um, these these young fans that look up to her to be a role model. But for some people, you know, when we talk about the Kardashians, right? When you get thrust into the spotlight, you automatically become a role model against your own your own choice, right? So, sure. do, is, it, is it fair for us to hold Cardi to that standard? Uh, I think so. I mean, if. That's how you got there. You kind of have a responsibility to me to maintain that, you know, ethic, if you will. Mm -hmm. And granted, she comes from that world. That's why she speaks on it. She can rap about it, and that's dope. But yeah, I hope she evolves. And I think she has good intentions too. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all for her. I don't know. I feel I don't have a six year old. I do have a dog, yeah. uh, and he doesn't know about Cardi B. No. But um, I don't know. I feel kind of weird placing any sort of judgment on anyone's life journey before yeah. and like speaking on that because who am I to sort of come down and be like it's not a good role model because it probably was the furthest thing from her mind when she was stripping and I also think it, it I feel a little weird to saying uh, like bringing up a question of morality with regards to anyone in like the sex work industry like stripping or porn or anything just because mm -hmm. I, I feel like it, it just feels like I'm placing a judgment on someone's job and I don't know mm -hmm. them and mm -hmm. so little of someone's identity and character mm -hmm. uh, is is like their past or is their line of work that they might have chosen to do at some point in time and I would hate for someone to I, I, I do hate when someone like comes down on me for any like past choices that I've made so I, I try and like reserve my judgment on that I, I don't know it's but I hear what you're saying too, because you have a, you have a kid, and like you want to totally think about that. It's totally different now. It's um, different for me, even. Yeah. You know? And and sometimes I feel weird even saying it, but it's a thought that comes because I have a kid. Mm -hmm. So, so. And Maybe I'm not judging. But her. here's like, the thing: at least she is rapping from an authentic place. She least, is. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I agree. Like, Listen. imagine if she was like, "And I'm not a stripper, but I think stripping is cool." It'd be like that's a little weird, um, <laughs> but fine. But it's but that she can be like, "I lived this life, and here's my life experience." Who am right. I to say that? That shouldn't be something that is echoed into her work. Right, and the double standard there because you know, male hip hop artists and male rappers have always used their life experiences and what's happened to them to as their narrative in their music. So I think Cardi B, you make a great point, Grace. She should be get the same credence and have the same privilege to do that as well. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what's next for Cardi B. I know you guys are too. Let us know in the comment section below. Would you want to be proposed to at like the Super Bowl, maybe? <laughs> the at, Super or, Bowl. No, or not. And nope. we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.